There we go, fish on. There's none. Smoked it. Smoked the Kalisa. What's up guys, back to the surf today. We're gonna be throwing out our Kalisa right in this little spot here. Unfortunately, this time we got a really sunny sky, so I'm not 100% sure they're gonna hit this Kalisa, but I'm gonna give it a shot now. And if it doesn't work out, we got a few other tricks up our sleeve we might try out later. We got this really cool product that I'm gonna show you guys at the end of this video that's super simple, but at the same time, super helpful for me. I'm surprised no one else has come up with this before. So anyways, we're gonna get a line in, and uh, we'll catch you out there. All right, guys, I just wasn't feeling the Kalisa, so we're going to the sand crab. I just wrangled up a few of these bad boys, and we're going to toss them out here and see if it gets the job done. of the day there. Nice little surf perch on the sand crab. This might look a little different from some of the other surf perch you've seen on my channel. That's because this one is a non-barred version. You can see it's got a little different color color pattern as the, the barred version. You know, it's more defined bars right here. But this one, almost like uniform, like gold, goldish silver, I mean, almost like a little purple on the top, but more of a uniform color. Same fish, just different color pattern. And that's just number one. We'll see if we can get back out there. All right, guys, I literally got to leave here in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to do a quick little 10 minute challenge. See if we can get any more perch here or maybe if we're lucky, a striped bass. But uh, it's coming down to crunch time now. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That feels like a good fish. What is this? It's a heavy fish, whatever it is. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. It's running, it's running. What is this? I think it's a perch. I think it's a good perch. I think it's a striper. I think it's a striper. Yeah, there it is. Oh, a chunky little striped bass. Look at that. Super fat little striper there. Let's get a measure. All right, about 19 inches. We're definitely gonna keep it. And like I said in my last video, who knows? How much longer we're going to be able to fish here in california so i'm kind of loading up my freezer right now all right guys i'm a bit of a time crunch gotta get back to the car and get back home but i haven't forgot about this tiny little tool that's going to make your life much much easier i'll show you once we get there out to the beach here strictly going to throw the kalisa and we'll see if we can get any fish let's get out to the water all right and first cast go fish on fish on striped bass on 
Feels like a good one. Got some weight to it. Making a little drag. I was literally just walking to my right here. Just threw it out, just through the heck of it. And we got him. Bring him in with the wave. Good one. guys just like that first striped bass on the Kalisa smash the little jerk bait right in the corner of the mouth two hooks got them good there let's get this unhooked and I mean so far so good no bent hooks I mean I I'd, I'd be willing to bet that if a big one hit this something over 30 inches I'm sure it could straighten out these hooks but this time of year, it's still early in the season. There's not too many fish of that caliber out here right now. So I think you're pretty safe just fishing this Kalisa just straight out of the box. Like I said, I probably wouldn't advise it just in case you hook that big one, but for these kind of fish, schoolie fish, uh, 20 to 20, 25 inches, I think this is about 25 incher. Perfectly good. So like I said in the beginning of the video, who knows when fishing is gonna be shut down here in California completely. So. I'm gonna fill up my freezer with this one, just in case, who knows, we might not be able to strike a fish at all this year, so this one's going to the freezer. All right, let's get back out there, see if there's any more. That was a schoolie sized fish, so a lot of times where there's one, there's more. So conditions we got here are pretty much ideal, in my opinion, for throwing any kind of lure, um, including the Kalisa. We got overcast skies, fairly low swell. I mean, there is a little bit of waves here, which honestly I like a little bit better. If it was dead flat calm, I don't really like those kind of waters. I just feel like when it's dead calm, there's no activity. I mean, the, the sand crabs aren't getting pushed up and therefore nothing else is really feeding because honestly that's what for the most part those striped bass are coming in close here to feed on is the sand crabs. No wind. Another thing that can hamper your jerkbait bite if you got a strong headwind um, just makes it really hard to throw this jerkbait because it's pretty light. I think it's 5 8 ounce somewhere around three quarters so you can't really get the same distance you would with like a, a bucktail or a mickey jig. Um, it's just not as aerodynamic but I mean, these, these striper, they're coming in close to feet, so you don't necessarily need to get it out there a mile uh, to get where these fish are. And, you know, obviously, we just got that one right in here. And then as far as the tide goes, it's about 1 p.m. right now. High tide was at 12.30 p.m., so it's about half an hour after the high tide. And generally speaking, uh, if you do any searches online, the majority of people will say the best time to fish are one hour before high tide to one hour after high tide. And that's not to say that you can't catch fish um, out, apart from that or aside from that those times. But generally speaking, if you wanna just maximize your fishing time in the surf, those are probably the best times to, uh, to target. So anyway, we'll keep at it. See if there's any more out here. Really like when it kind of settles down like this. Just run that Kalisa in there nice and slow and steady right through the trough. A lot of times that's when they'll hit it. a little bit. There's another one. Smoked it. Smoked the Kalisa. I think this is a little bit smaller one. Boom, there we 
we go. All right, guys, let's measure them here. See what, see what we're dealing with. Right at 18 inches. All right, guys, there's fish number two. A nice little 18 incher. We could keep him. He's definitely a legal fish, but I already got one, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. I want to make sure you get some water, some oxygen through his gills. Make sure he's nice and healthy. Because if you let him go before they're healthy, you run the risk of a sea lion coming up and grabbing it. And when they're good to go, there he goes. Boom, we got him. All right guys, well, kind of a little hectic video, but that's kind of how surf fishing is, especially for striped bass. One minute they're there, one minute they're gone, and then the next minute you gotta get home in time for dinner. So anyways, as promised at the beginning of the video, I wanted to show you guys this little, cool little plastic sleeve that's developed by a company called Cali Covers. They're not paying me to say this or anything, I just thought it was a cool little product. They sent me a few, and I thought I could help you guys out as well. So perfect little size here for your Lucky Craft, uh, flash minnow or Kalisa 110 and all you do is slide it in and then they also have this little notch right here where you can hook it onto the, the eye of your rod while it's still attached so you don't even need to take it off your line you can just slide it in here you won't get hooked on anything I can't tell you how many times I've hooked myself with on the, the shorts on my beanie the seat of my cars uh, yeah, you, these hooks will pretty much catch anything. So slide it in here and I haven't had any problems since. So if you want to check this out, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Once again, not being paid by them to say anything, just thought another cool product I thought I'd show you. But uh, yeah, perfect size for your Lucky Craft 110 or Kalisa. And speaking of Kalisa, if you want to get this color right here, Sardine Glow, or their new color called Nuclear Pink, you may or may not be seeing it in a video very, very soon. Um, you can use the code DIEHARD at checkout uh, and you'll get yourself 10% off. So I'll leave that link in the description below. But other than that, appreciate you guys' view. Once again, get this one, use the code DIEHARD at checkout. You'll get yourself 10% off. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.